Last time on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Grab the popcorn, it's cutscene time. Get out of the way! Wow, that sucks. Omnichannel, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, well that was quick. This is one of the more jerkish stages of the entire area. So yeah, if you like rails, this is a fun stage. If you don't like rails like I do, this stage is going to be a giant pain in the butt, and it will cause many, many deaths. Death bouts. Sonic Heroes! Oh, wait, go right, go right, go right, go right. Epic shortcut! Epic shortcuts! Yeah! It's hard to do the light dash whenever there's a row of rings and you have the magnetic shield. Oh! Well, I guess I accidentally took us to get the Mystic Melody upgrade. Alright, Mystic Melody! You can see those little weird temple things there? Play the Mystic Melody and you can do different things depending on what they are. And a thing of rings shut up. Oh, gee. Ah, uh, no! Ah, uh, that's what I was talking about. That sucks. I was doing so good, too. Oh, no! Uh-uh. Dang it, now I suck. Alright, the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. No, that last hit's normally tough to get. Shadow the Hedgehog, stop dying, please. You can die now, anytime, Shadow the Hedgehog. Die! Oh, no, no, no! Alright, that the Death Star's been destroyed. Hooray! But who did this thing? Who else is it? Besides, Sonic the frickin' Hedgehog. And now for the continuation. Hey everybody, it's Simon Dude the Fourth, and this is Let's Play some Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Last time we managed to defeat the hero side of the story. Today, we shall begin the dark side of the story. But first I thought I should tell you that we have new boss levels that we can do. If you want to go ahead and do time attack boss levels for hero side, we can now do that. Also, all stages and stage select are now available on the hero side of the story. And now we shall go ahead and begin the dark side of the story. The dark side of the force. The dark side of the hedgehog. In fact, that's what I'm going to call this episode, The Dark Side of the Hedgehog. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. Eggman. This machine gun that I wish we could actually use. Oh my! Well then, as devious evil people, we should go ahead and see what this weapon is. Is it a bomb? Alright! Alright everybody, this is Eggman. If you, if you know how to control Tails, you know how to control Eggman. It's the same exact thing. In all four corners of the door in order to get through. In fact, this stage is awfully familiar to Prison Island. Plenty of similarities. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Legitimately surprised I was able to grab that key. Oh, let's grab that gorilla while we're at it. Oh, come on. Come on down, thank you. Alright, now that we're on the hero or dark side of the story, we're gonna go ahead and begin working on our dark show. Uh, with our dark character, so that he can evolve into a dark show. As if that wasn't really a spoiler, but anyway. Let's go ahead and blow all this up. Level two security door breach. Level two security door breach. Yes, I have reached level two. Anyway, so Eggman's controls and Tails' controls are exactly the same. Uh, there really is no difference between them. Uh, you just aim everywhere, fire around at everything, and shoot anything and everything in your way. Destroy everything! Oh, we can't destroy steel blocks with Eggman, so we can't get over there. But we can go ahead and continue on our way through here. You, you'd you really think that you would just... That is like, get him. 
I would be more than happy to let you get to me, but unfortunately, I don't plan on dying today. So land on the speed boosters in order to run over there, destroy everything, get an extra man, destroy the robots. Oh, I said destroy the robots. Thank you for destroying the robots. Alright, and just like Tails, Eggman has a health meter. You basically don't have to worry about rings, just health, but rings restore health. And so do child drives. And these doors are really getting old. If they didn't work for levels 2 or 3, what makes you think it would work for level 4? You'd think you'd get a different kind of door by now. Like seriously. It's like, oh hey, let's do the exact same thing for later security measures. Because that's a useful idea. Because if they couldn't get past there, they can get past almost anywhere. Right? Well, there you go. Game design logic. Whatever. Shoot down the thingamajigs. One of these stupid doors again. What's the final security door? The exact same thing as the other security door? This looks exactly the same to me. Let's destroy you. It's like, I'm getting past your defenses. There's really no reason to keep going with this. Now you're just being annoying. I've got you, Pete. You can't handle me. Well, maybe on second thought, they can. Well, looks like we can't handle these doors the same way that we handle the other doors. But hey, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a conveniently placed missile right here. That all we have to do is hit the button, and it destroys your own security doors. Hey, here's an idea. When we design a security door, let's find a way to put a missile conveniently next to the security doors, so that I can blow up all the security doors, and the intruder can get past. That's a lovely idea! That's so intelligent, I have no idea why we didn't think of it before. A rank. Now you know why I am the best. Indeed, Eggman. Well, there goes that. Welcome to Chow World. Chow World is Dr. Eggman. You get to actually be Dr. Eggman, but without him being in his machine. And... He's pretty darn fast. Look at this guy. No wonder he's faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at this. He moves it. He's like a weird Russian dude running, but you know. At least he can run. Ooh, I wonder if Robotnik is Russian. It sounds Russian. Oh, there's a Mr. Guy over here. It's now time to finally show you some love. Because you have been neglected by the hero people. Well then, it is time for you to join the dark side of the force. What? And I'll be right back. Alright everybody, I'm back. I got interrupted, but I figured I might as well finish eating my, or feeding my chow. So... This is what he has so far. He has one power and two stamina because he's been eating food by himself. But hopefully, he will be my dark chow. He's enjoying his food quite a bit, so I think I should go ahead and feed him more. So when I get done feeding him, I will go... Or, you know, you can just take a nap. Wake up, buddy. Whoosh! Yeah, yeah. I am Russian. Is Eggman Russian? I, I can't tell if Eggman is Russian or not. Maybe he's a Yugoslavian or something. I don't know. He definitely looks like he's like an Eastern European kind of guy. I mean, look at his hands, though. His hands are huge. His feet are huge. His head is tiny. And his gut is absolutely just huge. very disproportionate. But I guess he's a bad guy, and being a bad guy, he should have disproportionate design. Anyway, let's go ahead and head on out.
Head on through. Level 7. That looks like a security door. And we just hacked it. You know what I think about it? What is Eggman's accent? So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is the electric company. Emerald into this console. At bat. Ma. Re. Ah. Maria. Anyway. We are now awakening something so dangerous and so epic it will destroy the entire world itself. Is it Gamma? Beta? Alpha? Actually, Alpha didn't exist. But. It's. It's a cosplayer! Are you trying to spoil my plans again? Hey, it's that Sonic cosplayer! You're not Sonic! This is impossible! My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Well, you're a crappy genie now, aren't you? Now what? Behold the true power I possess. Apparently, he can teleport, but we already knew that. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Alright, this is Hotshot. Hotshot's gonna be over here. He's just like Bigfoot. You can go ahead, he'll shoot you down with his machine gun. You can jump on top of a box in order to attack him. Or not, I guess. Or you can just do it the way you're actually supposed to do it and get hit in the process. Oh yeah, right. never mind, he does have different attacks. He has this little chasing attack. That will go ahead and blow you up if you're hit. Come at me, bro. Or not. Apparently my A button does not seem to work. Dash attacks and attack. Shadow is a bit weird to control, but like I said, if you control, if you know how to control Sonic, you know how to control Shadow. Shadow is very simple and easy to use. He's a speed character, just like Sonic is. I don't know if I should keep going with that cosplayer joke or not. It's like he's a cosplayer. But it really, but I really don't understand how people think he's Sonic. I mean, yeah, he's a hedgehog, but that doesn't really mean that he's Sonic. It just means that he's a hedgehog who can talk and is fast, like Sonic is. I'm outrunning your thingamajigger. His thingamajigger is easy to outrun. And so are his missiles. Your missiles have no meaning to me. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Yeah, you human. <laughs> Quark. Brunt. FCA. No. So, Shadow. You are the military's top secret weapon. Oh my. What did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Well, obviously he's a genie, Eggman. Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Yes, Ark. I want you to bring two of every kind of animal that exists on the planet and put it on the Ark. It shall rain for 40 days and 40 nights, and then it shall start life anew. Meanwhile... Just let it go! You just don't know when to give up! 
This scene looks very familiar. What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. So you got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who at me. Trains. Why? I Signal from the emerald. Thank you. If I'm not mistaken, this is the master emerald as you not. Really? So that's Dr. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Nope. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Although I guess now it's Rouge's team and not uh, Knuckles' team. Did that to prevent the master emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. Can you do it once I get back to the base? Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Meanwhile, on Wild Canyon. No, just kidding. This is Dry Lagoon. But this is anything but dry. It's actually quite flourish. It's an oasis kind of area. Alright, so this is Rouge, the bats. Now then, if you know anything about how to control Knuckles, you know how to control Rouge. Rouge can fly just as well as Knuckles can. She can climb walls. The only thing that's different is that she kicks. Oh, it's right there. Well, that was easy. It's like, well, that was easy. That was so easy, even an... Well, even a Rouge can do it. Yeah, Rouge just kicks instead of punches. I kind of like Rouge. She's the sassy character. The sassy, saucy character. The exact upset hothead to Knuckles cool agenda. Stone Monument of the Sun, huh? Not really sure what they're looking for on that one. I guess we can just fly down and around until we can find some hint of it. And if we can't, then obviously we need to go to the other area. Now then, this confused me for the longest time when I was a kid. First of all, what we have to do is we have to kill these robots. These robots are keeping this turtle hostage. So let's kill the robots. The turtle will then go to the area here. And, since the turtle is nice, we can ride him down to the other area. Ah, oh, here we go. Tallest part of the area. Lovely. Well, it doesn't seem to be around here. So it might be either in the first area, or on the other side of this area. Ew. I like her I like her music though, it's jazzy. Oh, there it is. Right on top of the head there. Well that was quick. Wait, I, I just saw it. What I could yeah, I Oh, it's above this thing. Really? It caused me trouble in getting this thing. Okay. Really? I know where you are, I see it, I found you. Thank you for grabbing the thing. I got it! <laughs> She's a spoiled brat, but I like her music though. And her voice actor really does fit in with the character. That's one of the things I really do like. Hey, Rank! How was that? Perfect? Like me? She's also a bit conceited and needs to be smacked in the face. That's why she makes a good foil for Knuckles. Anywho. Welcome to Chow World. Because apparently we got the Chow Key. But we only got one animal. So it should be simple enough to speed our Chow and head on to the next area. Actually, you know what? I think I'll go ahead and end things up here after I feed this Chow because we're 18 minutes into the episode. So let's go ahead and grab this. I just saw you lay down. You are not sleeping. Yoshi? I don't know what you're talking about. This is a Chow, not a Yoshi. How dare you accuse of him being a Yoshi? Uh, do we have time for one more stage? Do we? Do we really? Desert area. 
No, we don't. We don't have time for this stage. All right, everybody. This has been some random dude the fourth, and this is me saying, see you later. After we get over this cutscene. We'll never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. Alright, so this has been Samantha Dude the Fourth, and this is me saying see you later, and God bless you all. So long everybody.